This is Greg Michalossian with FXDD, and this is a Forex commentary for FX Street. Taking a look at the euro and uh, uh, how it's likely to remain uh, pressured. Now, that likeliness is um, a, a qualifier that um, is, a, is an opinion. Uh, it's opinion based on fundamentals. Uh, in particular, in the eurozone, we obviously have the uh, Greek situation. We obviously have uh, now Hungary, uh, which uh, could be an issue as well uh, for the region. Could be an issue for banking. Could it be an issue for debt overall? Uh, we have Italy. We have Spain. We have uh, austerity packages going through in Germany uh, that should slow growth, and all this should lead to a lower euro. Uh, and uh, in addition, we have G20 this weekend which uh, doesn't uh, mention the the, the uh, euro or any worries about the decline in the euro uh, what they what we are seeing however or what we are hearing is uh, concerns about the pace of the decline if the pace of the decline of the euro uh, should increase and and markets get more volatile uh, that would be something that they, uh, the the they would not like um, I think they would uh, ultimately they being the Eurozone, ECB, so on and so forth, the EU, um, maybe even the global central banks would like a weaker euro uh, in order to help their economy out, to help their export market, um, and uh, hope that uh, stronger countries like the U.S., Canada, Australia, uh, China, uh, bring them out of the doldrums uh, that, that they are uh, now facing as a result of all this stuff that's going on. Now, that's a fundamental perspective, and that's why the euro should are likely to remain weak. However, from um, uh, for those people who trade, and especially retail traders, uh, what uh, should happen doesn't necessarily mean uh, it will will it will happen. And that is uh, where uh, retail traders have to be careful. And that is where I profess that retail traders should pay attention to things like the technicals and tell it uh, because that the price is what we know. The price is what uh, uh, the market is. Uh, is uh, using uh, as its guide, as its a uh, score, um, score, if you will, uh, for the game. And uh, if you apply technical tools to that price and technical tools that you believe in, uh, then you should get some clues as to the uh, relative uh, bullishness or bearishness, because uh, it's not unusual to have a 100 pip or 200 pip or 250 pip or 300 pip uh, correction, even when fundamentals are extremely weak um, and would suggest otherwise. So let's take a look at some of our charts and we'll, um, we'll uh, go from there uh, to see where the risk is um, and where the uh, targets are for things like the euro ver or the currency pair like the euro ver versus US dollar. And the first chart I have in here is a euro, a euro on a daily chart. Obviously, the bias uh, is to the downside. More red, red, red bars and green bars here, uh, and the red bars uh, tend to be the ones that are b bigger ones to the downside here. We do correct to get corrective phases uh, during these periods here, but uh, they're short-lived, and the market continues to move back to the downside. I have a couple lines in here, 1876, 1969-ish type area, and I'm going to go to the weekly chart. I'm going to move those lines over here, here, and you can see. Really, at this, uh, let's start the 1968. Uh, how the market um, uh, use that level as a support to the upside, but also going through time, I call this a remembered line, and you can see how there's a resistance here, resistance here. Uh, we had support there, uh, we had uh, support there, we had support there, support here, um, and going back in time and, and and continuing back to support here, support here, support here, support here, uh, support here, uh, uh, even all you know back back here, support and resistance at this this point, and you know continuing on even. To 2003. Uh, so you can see how uh, that, that level is a key level. Now you can go to the 1867 or 68 type level uh, as well. And you can see the same thing where the market uh, had support, support, support. Nice, you know, this, this, this move to the downside here bounced off this level current and moved to the upside here. Uh, and and the, these levels uh, become what I call remember prices, uh, prices that the market is going to uh, use as a support or resistance level. And today, the market uh, on Friday, the market came down to the 1968 level and used that, that as a floor. And today, we came down toward the 1867 level uh, and used that uh, level as a floor as well. The low here for today came in 1876. So I'm going to continue to watch that 1867 level on the downside. We get through that level and we should see further selling uh, pressure in the euro versus. Is US dollar. 
Um, and 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 and, and uh, you know, uh, contrary, contrary to that, if we get above 1968, uh, we could see further moves to the upside. Now the current price is trading at 1958, uh, so we ha and we have been above that 1968 type level as well. You can see here uh, how the, uh, the more, uh, have a line here at 65. This is the hourly chart. Now I'm going to move that up to 68, and you can see here uh, how the market initially uh, sold off today, came up to that 1968 level, and then sold down uh, or sold off now we did get a couple bars where the market moved above that level here uh, but uh, that was uh, short left and the market starts moved back to the downside here so from a trader's perspective though uh, from a shorter term trader's perspective I'd be a little bit worried if we get back above that not one nineteen sixty eight level uh, here we could see uh, further short covering a uh, uh, an acceptance of a low in place uh, uh, and that uh, move could actually uh, move it up toward the 120.48 level over time that's the 38.2 percent retracement of this move down from uh, the high on Thursday to the low that's um, in um, uh, that's that's a technical what the technical picture is uh, saying us so watch the 1968 uh, level in the euro versus US dollar now let's go to the five minute chart and see uh, what that is telling us and from the five minute chart here we have this hundred bar moving average that's the blue line in the chart we also have this trend line here here, uh, which connected a lot of the little lows here. Um, I put a Fibonacci here from the high to the low from today's trading range. And the last corrective move to the downside uh, got through the 100 and the 100 bar moving average, the trend line, moved through the 200 bar moving average as this green line, the 50% retracement, and moved down to the 61.8% retracement at the 1920 uh, level and found some willing buyers down against that level. Uh, that is, uh, you know, a, 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 a significant, in, in, especially in fact that we've moved move back above the 200 bar moving average and now move back above the trend line move back above this 100 bar moving average and currently trade at 1962 uh, now we do have that you know we can put that line in um, at the uh, 1968 level. I'm going to move that this line up here toward the 1968 level, uh, which is the level we were watching. And we've seen here the market uh, uh, is using that level as a resistance. But where's our support? 1953 now, uh, the, the uh, trend line 1952. So uh, we are back. Um, we are. Uh, Back using this level as our support level, uh, maybe a stop below the 47 level. Uh, but if the market should move above the 68 level, it could see higher prices uh, here in the euro, euro versus U.S. dollar, which could put the price uh, back up uh, with a target uh, first of 1991 uh, to uh, the 120 level, uh, 12019 level, uh, and then off the hourly chart, what would you, what would we see? We saw the market uh, with the potential up to 12048 uh, to the top side. So. From uh, although the, it is likely that the euro goes down, from a technical perspective, we're seeing some signs that the euro may actually have some room to the upside. So watch our 1951-ish uh, type area on the downside. Watch a break of the 1968. Might give you clues as far as which way the direction might be going for you as a shorter-term trader, as a retail trader in the forex for the euro versus U.S. dollar. Um, this is Greg Michalowski with uh, a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar, not only from a fundamental perspective, but from a technical perspective as well. Thank you very much.